Ripple, XRP, Hedera H bar, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of your top cryptocurrencies can go down more. Now, I know the past couple of days have been very bullish for crypto. We've been going to the moon, right? But I'm here to tell you that there is a very big possibility that we can go down more. Now, I'm not saying this to spread FUD or to scare you because me personally, I'm not selling anything. I'm working hard and I have money on the side that I'm going to buy the dip with. And I just keep buying every couple of days, every couple of weeks. I add on more to my portfolio. Now, why do I say that these cryptos can go down more? Because there are a lot of risks facing the world of crypto, of finance, of stock markets, everything. There is inflation concerns around the world that will affect interest rates. So it will affect the money supply. There are cybersecurity concerns, cyber pandemic concerns that the World Economic Forum has warned us about. The whole topic of Davos in May for the World Economic Forum is how to regain trust. So think about it. Why would that be the motto? Why would that be the agenda of the meeting if a crisis has not yet occurred? So to regain trust, first you have to lose it. <laughs> and to lose it, there has to be a crisis that affects the whole world. Another reason, geopolitical concerns. We all know what's happening with Russia, Ukraine, the United States, China. People in politics, they want more power. So they're gonna create chaos. So that way they can make you depend on them. And obviously that is going to affect HBAR, XRP, all of your top cryptocurrencies. Now, again, me personally, I'm not selling anything because at any moment, these concerns can go out the window and people at Federal Reserve can just print more money and infuse the market with trillions and trillions of more dollars. So COVID is another concern. I know we're getting past it. It's been about two years since this COVID shit has come out. I hate COVID, but obviously if it does get worse and politicians want to create chaos so they can shut us down and lock us down and shut down borders. That is a very big possibility. It happened in 2020. It could happen again in 2022. I saw some reports in China that they're locking down a lot of major cities. There is another major concern also with just overvaluation. Like if we take a look at Ethereum and Bitcoin, where they were two years ago, Bitcoin was literally this time two years ago, Bitcoin was less than $5,000, about $4,000 to be exact. Ethereum was less than $100 two years ago. And right now Ethereum is at $3,000. So that obviously will take a massive, like we're overvalued in many ways. Like I can argue that we're overvalued. And another major concern is crypto regulation. Crypto regulation is a huge concern. We spoke about how the fact that XRP and Ripple got sued by the SEC, so can Ethereum eventually, so can Cardano, so can Dogecoin. They can all be deemed securities. And just like XRP lost about 75% of its value when the lawsuit was announced, these other cryptocurrencies can also lose a lot of value when this lawsuit is announced against them, if it is. President Biden is going to pass an executive order against cryptocurrencies because it's a matter of national security. The SEC came out just a couple days ago with a Trojan horse regulation bill that could pass that will also affect crypto. And not many, not many people are speaking about it. It could get passed in the next month if it gets approved, which will basically give the SEC power to regulate DeFi and crypto exchanges in the United States. What do you think is going to happen to the prices of crypto if that happens? Obviously, it's going to go down. Another major concern is on February 15th, we have a Congress hearing about stable coins. And stable coins is one of the biggest threats to central bank digital currencies around the world. Think about it. If you're the United States and you want to issue a digital dollar that's pegged to one dollar, what is your biggest threat? Stable coins. So the whole meeting, the whole hearing that's going to take place on February 15th, so in about 10 days, less than 10 days from now, can affect the crypto markets tremendously. Now, again, I'm not saying this to spread FUD. I'm not telling you to sell because a lot of people are asking me, am I still bullish or bearish? The short answer is I'm bearish in the short term, but crypto is the future. That's why I'm not selling anything. That's why I'm just working hard and buying the dip. And real quick, 
destroy the like button for this view and subscribe if you have not yet already all of you watching right now do that real quick because on this channel we have been one of the only ones in the whole world this youtube channel has been the one of the only youtube channels in the whole world since november i have been telling y'all that we're gonna go down and we have been correct when all the other major channels were telling you what you want to hear that hey it's almost december january we're gonna go parabolic i was giving you warnings i was opening my eyes i was trying to help you open your eyes to see what's happening around the world because it's not just crypto we don't live in a bubble crypto is obviously affected by politics by health concerns by climate change like another major risk is climate change all the major billionaires and people around the world elite are warning us that climate change will become irreversible we can see huge tsunamis hurricanes volcanoes so many different things that can affect major metropolitan cities that have millions and millions of people in it there are so many concerns in the short term that i am bearish in the short term but again how do you prepare yourself you work hard so you save money and when the FUD does come and pushes down everything, you have money to buy. You, at that point, you're not going to be scared and you have no capital to put to work. That is when people sell, when they do not prepare themselves, when they do not have money to buy the dip. So keep that in mind, everyone. Keep that in mind. That is a very big mistake that I see people make all the time. They go all in and they have no more money left on the side. How did I get successful? How did every millionaire or successful investor become successful? It's simple. Literally, I preach this almost every single day. They work hard. They do something they love. They stay invested in great investments. They do not sell. They just keep working hard and keep making money and keep buying the dip and then invest for the long term. And if you're an investor, you honestly, you want the prices to go down. If you're an investor, <laughs> that I hope all of you if you like to XRP or Bitcoin or Ethereum or HBAR at an all-time high, you should absolutely love it when it's down over 70% in a bear market. And if you don't, then you do not believe in the project. You do not believe in the crypto for the long term. So go invest in something else. Something that you actually will buy if it goes down 70 plus percent. So I love you all. If that makes sense, which it should, destroy the like button or if you just like this view, literally, if you learn nothing, but you like this view, join us right now, subscribe to this channel, because I'm not saying this to brag, but all my subscribers can vouch. We have been one of the only channels in the world that was telling you the truth when everyone was telling you what you want to hear in November and December. And I'm very proud of that because my subscribers have gotten so many warnings that many people should have heard, but they didn't. But it's never too late, okay? So join us right now. I love you all. You literally have changed my life. That is why I have the duty to give you the truth. And sometimes it hurts, but you have to prepare yourself. That's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm telling you to do. I will see y'all very soon. Until next time, y'all know what it is. Mr. Mufleh, out.